Hello and welcome to another video. I'm your host Mariah and today we're going to be painting one of the Iron Skull Orcs models from the Shades Fire game. This is one of the warbands available. So right now I have one of the Orc models here. And since they're painting painted as the Iron Skull, the armor is yellow. So I'm going to show you how to paint some yellow armor for these guys. So the first color I'm going to start with is, let me see where the camera is, this color right here. So I got some paint on my, on my brush, I'm going to put on my palette right here. As you can see I already have paint on this palette. I was painting the other model, um, it is drying currently. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this uh, paint, I'm pretty much going to paint it on all the armor panels. It's okay if some of the black is showing, we're going to go with this with two coats. Get some water in here. So it's not as tacky because with some of the base colors from uh, Games Workshop, they tend to be thick. So a little water will help the paint be more pliable. Get it under the head, side of the head. All over the model pretty much. See the knuckles, the arms. There are some panels here. Let's see. Right there. I need a little bit more paint, so I'm taking my base paint, shaking it up a bit, opening it up, get some more paint on my palette, a little bit more water. Get the legs. I think that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, and come back when it's fully dried and when the second layer of coat is also on it. Uh, so just wait it out till it's dry, put another coat of paint on it. I'm going to go ahead and base coat the other guys uh, as well. Alright, I am back with all the orcs uh, painted base with the yellow. Now let's go back to our focus model. And the next color I'm going to be applying is going to be this Ural yellow right here. Let's see, yep. Pause the video if you want to see what uh, paint that was. I'm going to go ahead and get it some on my palette right here. And it's pretty watery because I already added some, uh, whoops, some uh, sort of paint thinner, um, some Lamenter Media from Games Workshop. 
so it's pretty smooth already. I don't need to water it down. But now with the model in our hand, uh, let me put it back on its peg. And, and the uh, paintbrush holders that I'm just using is this, uh, a nice long paint bottle, like this Minotaur uh, paint bottle here and some uh, putty. Some molding tech, model tech? Tacking putty. I'm just going to go ahead carefully give this one nice smooth coat. All the armor panel. Nice and smooth. You can see in the video. Not going as crazy as we did with the previous color. Being more focused. more yellow on my paintbrush. And just going and finding all the panels that you want yellow. Also the skin, because I'm doing something cool with the skin, so I'm painting all my skin yellow as well for a cool hobby trick that I'll reveal later on, which is just which is just uh, using the right washes. So. Looking pretty good, right? It's coming off the putty. get the shoulder pads piece oh, that's a little bit too much paint you don't want a lot of paint on your model because then you'll lose some of the details I need to get some yellow on it. Let's see. Looking good. not going for some clean yellow or just going for that sort of scratchy uh, feel like an like a worn to war armor so this is pretty much it for the yellow on the next step uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit up writer yellow uh, I'll dry brush it with some if I can find the paint Oh, don't have that paint with me. Where could it be? Yeah, 
And you know what? I'm just going to dry brush it with some uh, Flash Gits Yellow when I come back. So I'm going to pause the video here. Alright, now that my yellow is dried up, I'm going to go ahead and take some Flash Gits Yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and take a, a larger brush that I've been using, uh, sort of nice and fluffy. What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this. This is a lot, and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it on the palette and then wipe it off on a paper towel so I don't get a lot. Sort of one, uh, just, just about this much is good. Uh, you can always use your hand to test it out. You can always use your, your thumb to like test it out. So as I can see I have my thumb here and I'm just slowly brushing it. As you can see it does pick up some of the yellow. So that's basically what I'm going to do on this guy. Taking some of the flash gits And just sort of going wild, not really going anywhere, but you just want to hit all the all the raised areas. Because then all that flash gets will be picked up. And you can see, oh, if you if you go hard enough, you'll see it on the edge of the sword right here. That's basically what's happening to all the edges here. All the edges will be hit. And those are the only thing you'll see the flesh gets yellow on. So if you really wanted to make it pop out more, I would use something like Screaming Skulls. Because that's sort of a a whiter white, a whiter yellow if you may. I think I'm going to show you that. So let me just go ahead and look for that paint. I think it was uh, a shanty bone. So I have the shanty bone right here with me. It's sort of covered by uh, some airbrushing I've done a couple times. I got a little bit on my brush. take some off the bristles itself. I'll use my finger as a example. And yeah. And now I'm just going to go ahead and hit this model lightly. I'm actually going to do it mostly on the skull. Because I think it'll show up nicely. Now that I'm doing this kind of weird combo of Flash Gets Yellow and the Ashanti Bone, you can really see the all the details popping up from the face. Let me see if we can focus on this face right here. See? The bone and the Flash gets yellows. Picking out the uh, face that's where I've been focusing the most. But now let's focus more on the other part of the armor. Need some more uh, bone. Of course, I'm just doing this nice, quick uh, technique right here. I'm 
I think that's how I'm going to stick with the uh, yellow right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I would do the skin. And the skin's pretty simple. Uh, let me just go ahead and wait for this to dry. Alright, now that it's all dried up, I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the yellow with a nice shade here. Getting some on my palette. And I'm getting a different brush to uh, apply it in. Yeah, let's do this one. Get some on my bristle. And this is a, a yellow shade. <clears throat> An orange shade, I would say. Has some nice orange tintingness to it. As you can see. I'm going to go ahead and do this to all the armor panels. This will give... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, I think with this, I'm going to hit all the panels. Just nice and smoothly. It gives it some nice coloring. And I'm just going to hit all the yellow armor with this. As you can see, it is turning out way better now. You really don't want it to pull up. We're going to use a different color for that. Just want to give it a nice sort of layer to it to say that the, that's the uh, orange is there, but it's not as strong as you would normally do with a shade. It's just saying hello. There's some orange in me. Orangely glad I didn't say a banana. Alright. Getting this panel right here on the boots. As you can see, it does look way better now. I'm going to go ahead and let this paint dry for a bit. We're going to go back to painting some more yellow on this. Alright, and I'm back. I'm going to go take some uh, Algarath uh, Earthshade here. Get some on my new brush. And this brush has sort of a finer point tip uh, than uh, my other brushes. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the model and I'm going to take this earth shade and I'm just going to just line it to any anything that I want heavy shadowed like the top of these top of these uh, circle things maybe in the in the jaws right there gives it more characteristic as you can see him going right there, right there, right here. As you can see it does separate the yellow pieces nicely. And we can go ahead and fix it with any uh, any mistakes with some Ural, uh, Ural uh, yellow. 
and this is this uh, brown is is meant to separate any yellow panels that are together like the boots you'll see it heavily used I'm just going to go along any lines where the yellow would meet I'm going to go ahead and do that to the whole model here sort of in real time sadly this is going to be a, a long video uh, as you can see right here in this little bolt I'll go ahead and do that and then that back to the legs sort of draw it in place Getting some more wash, and let's see. Go ahead and do the oops, doing it off cameras, but as you can see, in between the the shoulder pads here, uh, and some of the cuts, as you can see here. I'll do it there as well. Uh, any more cuts uh, in the lines here there's also one right here uh, right here where the where the hand would meet the knuckles oh not the hands the fingers would meet the fingers and then the knuckles and in the back of the hand and then the Palm, back palm, uh, the hand to the arm, the arm to the shoulder pad. Uh, let's see, right there, right there. This one sort of has a couple of scratches here oh and this shoulder pads definitely as you can see there's a nice little nice little lip there there's sort of a a piece of yellow there now for this arm Alright, and I see that's pretty much all the armor panels here that I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And once it dries, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some glaze to it. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to dry. Now that my wash is are dry, I'm going to go ahead back with uh, Ural Yellow. And since the wash sort of dulls down the... Uh, Dull down the uh, yellow here. Uh, you can see that your that the yellow is now uh, a little bit brighter. So carefully, just going around. As you can see, uh, hitting all these little edges. Now that you're, that the yellows are sort of diluted in color, your basic yellow will now pop more. And take your time, honestly. Don't rush this like what I'm doing right now. I would normally be more steady with the, with the line art. 
than I am right now, but since it's since it's just for video purposes, I'm just gonna go as fast as possible. Maybe just hit this little oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Um, let's see right here. And yep, let's take your time, buddies. Uh, eventually, you'll get all the all the spots that you want highlighted. That's fine. Uh, if you're unhappy with it, you can always wipe it off. Yep. Um, what else do I need from here? Do I need anything else? Let's look at the cameras. Oh yeah, this yellow right here. And get this part. And then under the neck. Uh, but from my point of view, and from what I feel like the camera is showing me, I feel like this is good enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to dry. And it's going to take uh, forever. Uh, what I'm going to do next is actually hit, hit it with some glaze. So I got my little airbrush here that I use to apply any shades or washes. going to get a good amount. As you can see, it sort of it gives it a nice yellow stain to it. So when I apply it to the model, all the yellow should just kind of blend together. You can see right here. I'm just hitting all the yellow panels. None of the skin. None of the metal. Just purely on the the panels. And it sort of gives your uh, your lines of Ural sort of a more unique pop. Lamenter Yellow. That is what it's called. Uh, some on this panel. Some on this shoulder pad. Back of the shoulder pads, which I need to be closer to see this. The back panel here. The arms again. This arm didn't get any. So it's always good to make sure that you get in on all the areas that you want it to get. And it should look nice and pretty. Some pretty yellow. Uh, let's see, let's focus on that. Yep, let's go ahead and wait for this to dry. Alright, now that the Lamenter Glaze Yellow is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the skin now. The skin is kind of unorthodox. I'm going to go ahead and get some belt on green, which is a shade that I, as you can see, that I'm messing around here. And you don't want a lot. You want as little as possible because you don't want it risking the, risking it pooling on your actual yellow. But sorry that I have to do this off cameras, but I don't want to mess any of the the yellows that we've done. Sort of get get it to uh, pool. Um, let's see, you can see that it has some right there and then right there 
on its eyes mainly. Um, the muscles here. The palm here, as you can see. Uh, let's try to get the more of the arm here. Oh, whoops. And if you get it on your, uh, on the yellow, just try to take a dry brush and uh, paint it off. But as you can see, the the green shade is looking really nice. Sort of gives it like a pre-shade for from the yellow. And this tip is honestly, I've I've seen it, I've learned it from a friend of mine who uh, started in Orc Army, and he went to go with the color of. Uh, the yellow armor, which I believe I don't know what what it's called for 40k, but I think it was like the Bad Moon Clan. If not, that could be something from a uh, from Warhammer Fantasy. But as you can see, if you if you let it pull in the right spots, the green will really be nice. And it's sort of cheating because you don't really need greens. You don't really need to do like three colors of green to to uh, achieve this. It is already there. Your highlights, your sh shade, and let's see. You don't want a lot. I'm just saying that you do not need a lot of this shade. You just want it to pool. In any of the muscle joint, uh, this ear. I don't know if it's behind. I think it's behind the mask. So, gonna be real careful. Get some on on the ear, as you can see right here. And I believe that is all the. Oh no, there is a spot that I still need to get some green wash in. And it's this palm right here. Right there. Now I just have to wait for this uh, green to sort of dry. Now I'm just going ahead and messing around with the with the wash. Making sure that I have it in all the right places that I want it to be. And that's honestly like the easiest way to do green without needing all the colors. Let's see if I can get this light to show you how easy this green is. And it also t lets me know, like I've got it on the shield, which is sad news. I didn't realize that. So now it's kind of too late, but uh, we can fix that with a couple of weathering tricks. So as you can see, this is how it's looking. It's looking really nice. I'm going to let this dry off. I'll be back. Alright, here we go. Uh, back at the video, and this is what it looks like fully dry. As you can see, the... The... Uh, what is it called? Beltan Green does a really good job imitating nice uh, orc skin when you uh, put it over yellow. And I think I'm going to cut the, this video down here right now since honestly it's it's uh, 35 minutes long. I'm going to say my goodbyes. Um, I guess I'll do part two on all the other stuff. But uh, let me know what, what you guys think. Uh, do you have any other creative ways that you've done yellow? Uh, did you learn anything new? Uh, I'll uh, check you out in the next video uh, right here at the same time, same place. And this is your host Mario again, and I'm saying my goodbyes. I'll see you later, and I'll see you in the next video.